oh hey it's you again in my room watching my videos hey how you doing at this point you guys you we're this third video and you're like family okay so welcome to my channel grab some wine grab some popcorn grab your little quarantine snacks sit down put your headphones on put me on your tv screen blow me up watch with your friends and we're gonna get into it baby as you can tell, I'm wearing bunny ears and there's an Easter basket behind me. We're going to be doing an Easter themed makeup tutorial. We're going to get into this beautiful, soft glam. It's not really soft glam, honey. Like, let's just keep it real. This is full glam. But I went minimal on the lips and I went minimal on the face. I threw on a Fashion Nova jumpsuit, a Fashion Nova bust down, baby. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I came up with this Easter look. And I, as always, excuse me, the products will be listed down below so if you're interested in watching how i created this beautiful glam like just get into this how i created this glam go ahead and stick for the rest of the video so starting off i'm going to go ahead and prime my face now i've already moisturized off camera now i'm going to be using the per cosmetics four in one correcting primer it says it energizes and rescues with aloe coconut water and probiotics and it is silicone Free. I actually really enjoy Per Cosmetics as a brand altogether. It's kind of a newer brand to me. Most of the products that I have tried have been amazing so far, so hopefully this isn't any different. So right off the bat, I can tell you now this is not a sticky primer. This is not something that texture-wise, it's not sticky, it's not tacky, and it also isn't like my other primer that's more on the I guess you would say liquid side slippery side of things um but it does feel like my foundation will grip to this so I am happy about that with primers I just want to make sure that I have enough coverage I kind of want to film a layer to protect my skin underneath um I feel like this primer is going to do that for me we are going to see how it wears on the foundation and the skin throughout the day so foundation, I'm going to be switching things up. Typically, I'd use my Huda Beauty foundation, but I'm going to be using the Fit Me foundation, which is like my tried and true. This is like the best drugstore foundation. I think it's like five or seven dollars, something like that. I'm in the color Coconut 355. And you guys, I've used the crap out of this. This is like my everyday foundation if I'm going to school, if I'm just running out somewhere, and I just want some quick coverage. It's definitely gonna give you coverage. It's um, buildable, it's lightweight, and it's really inexpensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and start stippling that into my skin using my Jeffree Star foundation brush, which I actually really, really, really enjoy this brush. It's one of the only kabuki brushes that does give me a nice even blend. I don't see any harsh lines from the bristles or anything like that. A little bit definitely goes a long way when using a kabuki brush or just any stippling foundation brush versus a beauty blender. And because it is buildable, I'm just gonna go right over the spots where I tend to have darker areas like where my mustache is growing in my little beard and stuff like that so i'll just kind of go over it again with a little bit of extra foundation just to make sure i have the coverage that i want i go over it on my eyes of course my lips this just kind of ensures that when i do put on a liquid lipstick um the color is going to be more prominent pigmented if you will and this is what it should look like when you're done. I actually really love the finish. It's more of a satin feel. It's not matte. Um, and it's definitely more on the dewy side. You can already kind of see the glow that it's giving me. It's pretty radiant. And it's really comparable to my NARS foundation. If you guys own a NARS foundation, this is like kind of like a NARS dupe. Um, so yeah, this is a really great foundation and I really enjoy it. So typically I would have set my primer with a setting powder of any sorts, but because I want more of a dewy radiant look, I went ahead and skipped that step and went right into my foundation. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and conceal them off camera. I do have two other videos going in depth of how I do that. So if you'd like to see that process, you can refer to my two 
other videos. Okay guys, now that I'm back with my eyebrows concealed, filled in, I'm ready to go ahead and start this Easter inspired look. Now because it's Easter, I think of pastels, I think of lighter colors, and the perfect palette for that is the Jawbreaker palette. Now I know you guys are probably used to me using this, but this really is my go-to palette, like I said in my other video, and it has great pastel colors. So I'm thinking, I'm really gravitating towards these three colors here. And I'm also gravitating towards this color up here, and maybe this one, and this one down here. I'm gravitating towards a lot of colors. So I was thinking we can do a pastel cut crease, maybe with a glitter cut crease, but let's just go ahead and jump right in and see what we can do. As always, I'm gonna go ahead and coat my lid with Virgin, which is this beautiful stark white color. I love this color, it's my base color. It makes everything else that I put on top of it extremely pigmented, which is what we want. We want true to color, especially for my morenitas, for my Latina women, my dark-skinned women, um, my dark-skinned black women, or just black women in general. You definitely wanna make sure that you're using a wider base on your eyes so that way the colors come out more pigmented and they pop on your skin tone. It's a shame that makeup really isn't doesn't really have us in the forefront um, when they're creating their brands or their colors. So most of the times their colors aren't as pigmented um, and the formulas really aren't made for our skin type. Um, but that's okay because we're gonna manipulate it and we're gonna use that black girl magic, black boy magic to make it work for us in the end, baby. So as always, I'm gonna go ahead and focus on one eye and we'll do our other eye off camera. So the first shades that we're gonna be jumping right in with is F, U, C, you get the rest. And then we're also going to go ahead and be using the color Suck. The reason why I'm gonna be dipping in both of these colors, starting with the lightest, going to the darkest, and then tapping them both in back and forth, tapping off the X's is because they make for a beautiful pastel, almost like salmon color, if you will. Now going in with Just Suck, I'm going to tap on that outer corner because I really want that to be more prominent and noticeable towards my end. I wanna create depth. And I'm just gonna smoke it out. Blow that color out. Don't be afraid to extend it far out here because again, we're going to clean it right on up guys now that I have that base color down I definitely want to deepen my end so that way when we cut our crease it's gonna create that dimension and depth that we want so I'm gonna go in with this beautiful red color it's called licorice right there we're gonna take a flat brush flat fluffy fluffy brush whatever you prefer it doesn't really matter you don't have to get too crazy and we're just going to lightly tap that on our outer V like so and we're really just gonna keep it there. We don't really wanna move it anywhere. Just gonna keep it there. If you're going to take it anywhere, take it outwards, blow it out. And don't be afraid to really, it's a, you know, any reds or pink typically are pressed pigment. So they're easier to blend and they really won't go anywhere versus like other colors that will tend to fade off or get ashy. Um, these will kind of stain your eyes too, just to let you know. So just be careful with these. If your you know, skin is sensitive, just know that you it, nine times out of 10, a red is gonna stain your skin when you take your makeup off. So now that we have our base color down, we're gonna go ahead and cut our crease. Today's concealer that I'm using to cut my crease is L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Glow. This is like my tried and true concealer. It's my everyday concealer when I don't wanna use my Too Faced one. It gets the job done. It's dewy, it's radiant, it's what I like. It gives great coverage, but it, there is a bit of creasing if you don't set it. So you kind of really wanna work fast with this. So now that I've cut my crease, this is kind of the shape that we're going for. Something a little bit more elongated towards the end. Then we're going to go ahead and fill that in.
So now that we have our concealer laid in where we want to be, it's okay if it looks crazy because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a makeup wipe. I'm just going to clean it up towards the end. But for now, we're going to go ahead and start laying those pastel colors where we really want them to be. The first color that I'm going to take is called Brain Freeze, which is this beautiful kind of soft baby blue. And I'm just going to tuck that right here. We're going to keep it tight in this area because we got a couple more colors to do. A pastel rainbow moment. And it's okay if it's not super tight. We're gonna go ahead and blend that out with a glitter liner later on. Next color I'm gonna be using is Sour. It is this beautiful green, pastel green color. Um, hopefully it shows up this way on camera. Using tapping motions to really pack that color in there. So after that, I take my finger and I blend these two colors together. So that way it gives you a gradient effect. We want everything to be blended out and seamless and flawless. So for this outer part, I'm going to go ahead and with this beautiful pastel purple and it is called Gum Drop, which I'm just in love with the names, by the way. Gum Drop on our outer V portion like so. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go ahead and clean it up. It could be as messy as you want on the end. I just really want to make sure that I'm packing that color on there so that it's just there to begin with. So when I do wipe it off, I have a nice, clean, even blend. So next, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning this up. I'm going to take a makeup wipe and make sure it's nice and sharp the way I want it to be. Now your cut crease should look something like that. A little bit more extended towards the end. Next, I'm going to be taking my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Lid plus line plus lash shadow. Um, I just kind of picked this up at CVS one day and I really like it. It's this pretty like, I guess you can call it turquoise color. And we're going to go ahead and put the glitter liner right there in between our lid where our cut crease meets. So after you apply your first coat, I don't feel like it's enough, so I like to let it dry a little bit, and then I go in for a second coat. Once you have it on, it should look something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put some liner on the bottom, but I'm not gonna extend it all the way up. I'm just gonna kind of make sure that I have a little bit of a liner there. Now that you're done with that, it should look something like this a nice little rainbow pastel cut crease with a glitter lid baby it's a fun little party moment i'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye off camera okay guys i'm back with both eyes done all i did was add some lemon drop to my inner corner as well as my brow bone this is what the final product should look like Now I'm going to go ahead and contour and then I'm going to be highlighting. So I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Tan Tour in the color tan and then we're just going to go ahead and do this how we normally did. I like to go ahead and apply it here and a little bit here and I want more of a specific contour so I'm not going to really drag it all the way down. Next I'm going to be taking an angled dense brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blow that out into my temple and around the atoms of my cheeks. Really, it should just be a soft miniature contour. This is just going to be our base for when we apply a powder one. Even though this is a cream to powder contour, I love it and I wish I had a lighter shade so I can have more fun with it, but I currently don't have one at the moment. For concealer, I'm just using my LA Girls Pro Concealer. I'm not sure what color this is in. It's in Warm Honey. I'm just gonna go apply this normally where I would. I'm gonna go ahead and go light. If you guys have used this concealer, you already know that it blends beautifully. 
This concealer is super duper duper blendable. That's what I love about it. Okay, now that I've let my concealer sit, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with some setting spray. I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender and start blending it outwards. This is a pretty close match to my skin. So I'm gonna go back in there with a lighter concealer just so I have extra coverage. But this is such a beautiful concealer. It's more on the natural side rather than like my Too Faced, which is definitely gonna give me that bright under eye that I really want. And as always, I like to contour my nose. You guys know this. Contour my forehead like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and move down to this under eye, moving it upward to my nose, just like that. Do, 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 do. And you just wanna blend that out like so. See, it's very beautiful, it's very natural, it's not too bright. It's not so in your face. It's like the perfect shade for me. But if you're extra like me and you do like full coverage glam, you're gonna to wanna to go in there with another concealer that's a bit brighter. I'd say like two to three shades brighter than your skin tone. For extra coverage, I'm going back in with my L'Oreal concealer and I'm just gonna hit my under eye one more time. A little bit does go a long way. And just a little bit more coverage here. Boom, and then hit my forehead a little bit more. If you like a bright under eye like me, this is the way to go. Just a little bit will take you a long way. Do you guys have any plans for Easter? What are your plans for Easter? How are you guys gonna be quarantining and celebrating Easter? We're gonna go ahead and hit our T-zones, and then we're just gonna get right in there. And that's all you wanted to do. You wanted to just kind of wake up that under eye. Hello, I'm here, I'm present. How are you doing? You know, you never want to look sleepy. Hit the side of our contour. And then we're going to take the excess, as we always do. Clean up the bottom of our jaw, just in case that contour was a little bit too dark. Boom, and you should start to see that line form just like that. You can literally just like look forward and you can see your jaw starting to sink in and that's typically what we want. We have our concealer laid. We're gonna go ahead and set it, but this time I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution setting powder. This is in a bit of a yellow undertone to it, which is what I like because I have yellow and orange undertones. I'm very tan, I'm a little bit on the darker side and those colors complement me well. And this honestly is one of the best setting powders I've ever used. Taking a small Jeffree Star brush, I'm gonna just go ahead and really brush that in on the spots that I want my powder to go to. I'm gonna put some on my nose like so. And we're just gonna take it to our forehead, under eye, and the sides of our nose. Your T-zone should look a lot brighter and awake and you should start seeing that definition build again. The reason why I haven't really contoured up here is because I kind of laid my edges down and I really don't want to mess that up. So for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna show you my cheekbone contour rather than my forehead. So I'm gonna be using my Cover FX face palette. This is an awesome palette, you guys, face palette. It comes with two highlighters. You got a brightening powder, a finishing powder, you have a blush, and then you have your contour right over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my contour brush and I'm gonna dip into Silhouette and I'm gonna go ahead and contour as normal. I don't know about you guys, but contour for me really just brings the look all the way together. And I'm just gonna tap this in here. Again, I have my edges done, so rather than really brushing it, I'm just gonna tap the product into there and taking it as far up as I can without getting the product into my hair because I don't want my edges to be looking crusty and musty with makeup on there. And they have spritz on there too, so like, 
if you've ever worked with spritz baby you know that stuff is not going anywhere so now that I've contoured a little bit, I want to go ahead and bronze myself too before I put on any blush. I'm using my Milani Baked Bronzer in the color Soleil. It kind of has a highlight to it as well, which is a beautiful color. It looks like this. I'm just going to take that same brush that I used and I'm going to go ahead and go over that contour with my bronzer. And that should just give you a beautiful bronzed look nice and toasty again I love to hit my temples gives me more of a smaller forehead and hit the sides of her nose again this step is optional you do not have to contour your nose it's just a step that I like to take you know, everybody's different, and I like to drag it up into my brows. That gives me a more defined nose, and it kind of elongates my eyes as well as my nose, too. So you can kind of already see the instant thing that it does there. Just by adding that little bit of depth, it makes everything kind of more cohesive and makes sense. So next, I'm going to go in with that blush from my cover FX. And since it's Easter, I wanted to go with a nice, soft pink color I'm using a dense brush and I'm really placing and packing that color on there so it's gonna look really intense at first but we're gonna take a bigger fluffier brush and we're gonna go ahead and blend that out I know it looks crazy but it'll make sense in Z and I promise you so you're gonna take a bigger brush I'm just using my Jeffree Star blush brush excuse me with no product on it and I'm just gonna go ahead and dust that out and smoke that out like so and you see it's not so intense anymore but the color is still there which is exactly what we want and this is such a pretty beautiful soft pink and I love it and then we just go back out there and smoke it out so now once you have that I also like to put a little bit of that blush right here on my nose just to kind of give me a, a little bit more of a blushed, cold effect. Um, when I think of Easter, I think of a very cutesy bunny rabbit. And so we kind of want to play around with that. Lightly dust it so that way it looks a little rosy, a little pinkish, a little bit more flirty. It makes it a little bit more fun. Now that I have that on there, I'm going to go ahead and start dusting off the excess powder. And when you do this, this is also going to soften off, soften up that blush. It's going to soften up the entire look if your contour is a little bit too heavy. Like so, like so. I'm going to go ahead and add some setting powder here. So now that we have that on there, I feel like I need a little bit more blush. Is that, am I tripping or is that, can I use a little bit more blush? Can I use a little bit more blush? I could. For my under eye, I'm going to go ahead and take that orange color suck and I'm going to start applying it under here. So next I'm going to be taking that red color licorice and I'm going to drag it from my ends midway to my middle bottom part. Boom, 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 and it should look like that. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off this excess powder here. And then we are gonna go ahead and spray our face with some setting spray and use our beauty blender to make everything melt and blend in. This is that imperative step that I always tell you guys is going to make your face from ashy to powdery to more skin-like. It's gonna help everything that you put on blend and it's just gonna look seamless when you do this step. Go ahead and take my beauty blender and I'm just going to start pouncing that in making sure that I'm mixing up all the product together. That way we have a nice, seamless, even blend that just melts into each other, like so. So since we did bold eyes using pastel colors, I really didn't want to do a bold lip, so I'm just gonna stick to a nude gloss. Normally, I would line my lips with a darker, 
lip liner, which you guys can totally still do if you want, but I really want the focus of my face to be on my eyes and the intensity of the entire look to be on my eyes. So I'm just gonna just do a regular nude lip. I'm gonna be using my favorite lip gloss by Tress Chic Cosmetics. My friend Rode created her own cosmetic line and she was nice enough to send me some glosses and some beautiful pair of lashes. And I'll be making sure to link her website down below. So now that I have a nice coating of that, I love that it blends in and it lets the eyes have the fun and do the talking while my lips kind of sit back and they still have their moment. This is such a beautiful gloss, you guys. I'm in love with it. It's not sticky. Once it's on there, it stays there. It's not moving around like most glosses. It's not heavy. I don't feel like I have a ton of product on my face and it does what I need it to do. It just is a beautiful, nude gloss um it's also very versatile you can get different looks with this depending on how you wear it up or wear it down if you wear it with a lip liner it's gonna pop a little bit more if you put a base coat of whatever liquid lipstick you want and then put this over it you're gonna get a different color it's really versatile it's lightweight and it's my favorite lip gloss so the lashes that i'm gonna be using are the YL7 lashes. These are beautiful. They're from Your Lord Cosmetics. I'm not sure if you guys could see that, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and give you guys a closer look. They look like this. They're beautiful. They're 3D mink lashes, and honestly, they're the best. If you guys wanna get a pair, they're always having flash sales and things of that nature. As always, the link will be down below. I do have another video of how I apply my lashes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back with the final look. I kinda just threw on a Fashion Nova jumpsuit that was giving me my Easter vibes and these cute little bunny ears. I am in love with this look. You guys, this is a beautiful Easter fun look. Minimal on the lips, drama on the eyes, and I'm in the Easter spirit, honey. On a serious note, I know a lot of you guys are pretty bummed out because we have little ones that we're excited to celebrate Easter outside or if you're anything like me, here in Florida we like to go to the beach um, and the beach is usually packed so that is why we have opted out of really doing a big Easter celebration this year and we're probably going to keep it small and do something at the house with just my intermediate family. Do you guys have any plans for Easter? Has this whole situation changed your plans for Easter? I want to know. Sound off below. I hope your holiday plans are not ruined and that you guys find a way to celebrate indoors and still enjoy Easter. Thank you guys so much for showing love and support to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Ring the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post the video and you can see my pretty face and I can see your pretty comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Besitos.